Hello my crafty friends, hope everyone's having a very nice day. Um, I have a project share also that I want to do today, so um, I, try, I don't want to keep doing haul videos and not show any projects that I've been working on. Uh, this is a big project that I've been kind of working on off and on for a while. Um, I bought a cabinet and I've been trying to uh, gather up enough bottles to go inside the cabinet to put my jewelry findings in. But I had to have a certain size bottle to go into the cabinet that would fit right so the doors would close okay. So I was, I've was i been kind of like um, limited on what kind of jars that I could put in the um, the cabinet because of the way it's, it has the narrowing space. So anyway, I started to do a little crafting here. And with me being on so many medications like my lupus medications and... I mean, I'm just on all kinds of medicines for, you know, my thyroid now, and then I've got my lupus meds, plus i got my spine meds, and just, you know, i got all these medicine bottles, asthma meds, it's just, you know, every month I get all these bottles, and I, you know, they're plastic, but they, you know, you hate to see them you throw them away and, you know, not be recycled or something, you know, happen to them, so um, I decided to try some of the little bottles out and see how they would turn out and um, I started out with the one and it turned out perfect size so I was like oh, alright so now I've got my bottles for my cabinet so the only thing I'm going to have to worry about now is getting my cabinet painted up and once that uh, gets done I'll have uh, these little bottles to go inside the cabinet and it, give it a shabby chic look so anyway um, this is what I started out with, and um, what I'm doing is keeping my jewelry findings in these, like my uh, bead caps, eye pins, um, like like the silver belongs in the silver, and the gold belongs with the gold, the copper goes with the copper, so I'm kind of trying to keep everything, you know, um, sorted, and um, I didn't do the bottom of the... the um, medicine bottle because I wanted to be able to see when I go to pull it out see what's actually inside the bottom of the bottle so I don't have to go pulling every single lid off well here's one of them and this is the this is the one that I did and I what I did is I uh, sewed up some ruffle uh, some th um, I had some lace and what I did is I ruffled it up but I put satin around the the bottles first so all my bottles have a satin layer under here and then I started sewing up my laces um, where it would ruffle up really good because I like a lot of ruffle and so I sewed up the ruffle and then I sewed some pink ruffle so it's got white ruffle here pink ruffle there I um, took some seed uh, seed um, what do you call this? The, the bead tiny beaded uh, trim and went all the way around the bottom there and then the lid, I just, um, I folded that over and put, uh, glued that around that. And then I did one of my rolled roses and put that in the bot that's top of this. And glued one of my buttons, um, that I got from, uh, my stash. And that's the first bottle I did. So that was bottle number one. And then, uh, I didn't want it all to be pink and, um you know one color because I'm still quite undecided about what color I really want my room to be um, I kind of would like a mixture of pink and blue so I'm, I'm kind of keeping it pink and blue uh, the pastel colors uh, something about that pink and blue to me just you know takes away from having everything being all pink you have a little uh, shabby chic blue a little shabby pink pink so this is the second one and I used uh, a, a ruffled blue eyelet lace down here at the bottom and then I glued uh, I, I ruffled what I did is I sewed the the, um, the lace and it measured as I was sewing and uh, then I glued like this layer this layer and this layer and then another um, beaded trim around that and I took a, a flower that I had sewn it was this was like a leftover lace that I didn't want to waste so I sewed up a little like a little dolly flower folded in in two and then put a little uh, pearl button right there with uh, and then I um, 
took some seed beaded uh, trim and I put around the uh, label part here. This is the label part right here, as you as you could see. Um, I to, so it wouldn't look uh, show show, but the bottom here has. So I did label uh, ruffle the top part, and I put a, one of my buttons, metal buttons, on the top. So that's the second bottle, and then I did uh, the third bottle. Uh, each one is is different. I would uh, satin again, once again, three rows of eyelet lace, uh, one glued at a time. I took some beaded fringe trim and went all the way around the the top row here, and then I sewed some lace here and glued hot glued that on. Another beaded trim on top of this lace and one of my crocheted flowers with a pearl in the center. So this is the third one that I did. Okay, and then the fourth one is another blue one, and it's a little bit different. It's got uh, some ruffled lace of two different kinds, and I sewed three, three different layers on each um, thing. It's also got the satin bottom. Uh, beaded trim here, and then around the top portion, the label of the we call it the lid. I'd put beaded trim all the way around, and just glued it, and then put the button there. And uh, if you notice, it's all the uh, even included in the button, so the button fits right on top of that. Folded over a piece of eyelet lace here. Put another uh, bling and uh, pearl trim around there, and that's what the fourth one looks like. And then, uh, let's see if I can get this. Um, then this one here, I, I used uh, a ruffled lace, beautiful ruffled lace, sewed it up really nice and tightly. Um, put a couple layers on that, so it's got like uh, one, two, three layers, actually. And then I had some pink eyelet lace that I uh, put ruffled and sewed on that. Um, did put some beaded trim on the, the rim of that. Then the lid, I did uh, ruffled uh, rib lace here. Some beaded trim around the lid there on the very top. And then a button in the center. And that's the fifth one I did. And then the sixth one, I did the blue again. Uh, I used this ruffled lace some ruffle lace this, but this is on top of the lid. So I was only able to do, um, well actually I did three layers, but I took a small layer on this one, the top part, and then I used a layer for the lid on the side around here, beaded trim, beaded trim, and then a button in the center. And that's how the, the fourth one turned out. And then, uh, let's see if I can get these I did quite a few, so I have been actually crafting and not sitting here doing 24-hour day shopping, which it feels like it. Then I, um, this one was a little bit bigger. Um, this was one of my first ones I did that I thought might would fit in there also. It fit when it wasn't ruffled, but when I put the ruffle on it, it wouldn't fit. So it, I'm, it's going to go on top of the cabinet as a kind of like display. But I did this one in the blue ruffles. Very, very pretty. Um, uh, glued a, a beaded trim around the, the third row. Then on the lid here, I just glued lace around the lid. And a big, huge button top on the top, very top. And that's the seventh one I did. And then, while I was at Tuesday morning... So I've got a place I keep my buttons. So I had emptied this jar here, and it was one of those jars you got from Tuesday morning that has a kind of a weird looking shape, and uh, it's um, really really pretty. It's just made out of plastic though, but um, it was I liked the way it was shaped, and I decided to put some of my bead caps. So as you can see on the bottom here, this is where I keep my bead caps. So I have a, a fairly good sized jar of bead, bead caps. And what I did here is I just um, took some beaded trim, I mean uh, some ruffled lace, eyelet lace, 
and just sewed all three layers and glued it onto the bottle. And then the lid part, I um, made sure that I put some of this ruffled lace on top of this. Uh, put uh, some gold trim around that. Some beaded trim around here. Some uh, gold thread trim here. Uh, metal bead on the, um, a metal button on the side. I did sew a front flower here and put some beaded trim along with a center pearl. And that's how that one turned out. So that was a little bit, probably the bigger, biggest one that I made. But um, these are the four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight jars that I worked on this um, this past week. And I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, actually, the past couple of weeks I've been working on this. So this is a big project that I was working on. I just hadn't, didn't have time to show it off to everyone. But um, I hope everyone likes my little medicine bottles. They do come in handy. And like I said, the, I've got them where the lids... Now, now watch me make a lie out of myself. There you go. See? That's all it is there. I'm not going to do the inside because um, it, even though it's orange colored, it's you know it's not noticeable unless I open it up. If I paint it, like I said, if I paint the um, inside of these, uh, I won't be able to see what's in the bottom of this. And that's my main goal. I just wanted to look decorative on the outside, but purposeful for the inside where I could store my goodies in there. And it would be, you know, look really pretty. But this is my project for um, last week and this week, partially. And like I said, I made eight, eight of these. And it was a lot of fun doing. So if you have medicine jars that you just don't, you know, know what to do with, um, set them aside in a little shoebox somewhere. And when you get up enough, you can decorate some like these. And you could put them in your spice racks. Some of the spice racks that you find or... Um, little shelves that you find at your thrift store that needs painting that you want to do something with well you know this is how one way to to incorporate and make a beautiful uh, piece for you all uh, uh, when I get the cabinet painted and uh, I think I've got four more bottles that I need to alter um, so when I get the cabinet painted and the other four bo four bottles altered I will do another video so you will see these again in the future but um, when you do see them they're going to be added with the cabinet the cabinet is going to be very shabby chic one more project that I also worked on I might as well show um, I did a uh, in fact I want to just go ahead and show this this is my second project um, that way I, I'm showed two projects I did an altered um, spool and it was just a cheapy plastic spool it wasn't a wooden one and um i i was something about that uh spool was kind of different and unusual and i really didn't want to um throw it away because you know even though there it's not wood it does have a purpose uh you could use it for a crafting purpose and make something really beautiful out of it so i made this cute little blue decoration and what i did is i um took this uh, spool and I just wrapped around some beaded trim all the way around the spool and then I put some gold threading here some gold threading there on the bottom and the top glued a filigree piece of filigree on the very top of this and then I had this here and then the, the string I put the string in the center underneath the filigree so it would you know have somewhere to hang it and then I found this off of an earring, so I pulled that, that off and glued that on top. And then I glued um, this piece of lace here, which is a double row, a, a double ruffled lace. And underneath, it it had like a hole. The hole was kind of like fairly large size. So I was able to fold these up and put inside the hole. And just to have them, like, instead of dangling down, they just have, like, a little pattern to them. Put some little pearl bling there. And um, in the very center, as you can see here, there, this is where the hole was at. I just uh, crammed two, uh, the thread inside that hole, hot glued it, and had the two bells hang dangling down. And I just made myself a little ball, um, a bell ornament. And I thought it was really pretty, and uh, I'm going to hang that on 
one of the knobs of my um, cabinet when the cabinet gets finished. So these are my projects um, for the week and, and this week and last week. I made the um, the altered spool, which was a plastic spool, it wasn't a wood one. And I also made all these um, medicine jars. So I hope everyone has a very great weekend. I will be talking to you guys during the weekday. Usually during the weekdays I don't do any videos. Because I have like you have to clean my house, doctor's appointments, cook dinner. And um, you know I'm just not online as much as I would like to be. But when I am online I do try to watch everybody's videos and comment. So I will see you all during the week. But um, you won't see another project or me doing another video probably oh well, yeah i got i got one haul video that i need to do um before the weekend's out and then i will so the next project will be seeing uh will be another project well i hope everyone has a very nice weekend to come it's you know saturday afternoon here um so i've been kind of busy putting trying to put things away and uh trying to get my videos where i can get them uploaded and online and I will talk to you guys later. And y'all have a very nice Saturday evening and uh, Sunday to come. Love you guys. Bye-bye.